Some dogs can become very attached to their owners, following them around and demanding attention and affection. To some dog lovers, this is a highly desirable trait, but others prefer a dog that is just as happy on his own as he is in the company of others. This independence does not mean that the dog loves his owner any less, just that he does not need constant attention to be happy. Whether you work all day are looking for a working dog that will accompany you on walks, but retreat to its own space when you get home, or you simply like to have some of your own space in the evenings. Here are 10 dog breeds that are the most independent breeds that would make a great companion for you. Number 10, Basenji. The Basenji is a hunting dog originally from Africa. He is usually a friendly dog and he has lots of energy, so he's a great companion for just about any potential owner except those that expect their dog to obey every command the first time. The same goes for those that want a lap dog. He's clever, but independent, and survives on his own intellect, rather than relying on his owner's commands. Number nine, Siberian Husky. The Siberian Husky has grown in popularity considerably over the past few years. He has a wolf-like appearance, and is another dog that can run for hours on end without missing a beat. He is very affectionate, but won't shadow you or cling to your leg. He does require a lot of patience when it comes to training though. And if he is not trained properly, he can be difficult to manage and quite unruly. His independence means that the Husky loves to get out and about. And if you don't have the fence or wall to stop him, he will be off to explore. Number eight, Airedale Terrier. The Airedale Terrier is the largest terrier breed and originates from Yorkshire, England, where he was used to catch rats and other vermin. He is confident and very clever and still makes an exceptional working dog today. He is unlikely to be too concerned about pleasing you and his stubborn streak can be phenomenal. If he doesn't want to do something, it is virtually impossible to convince him otherwise. And this makes training the Airedale very difficult for all but the most experienced of handlers. Number seven, Greyhound. The Greyhound can make an excellent family pet and despite being bred for incredible speed and agility, he is far more likely to be found asleep in his bed or on the sofa than running around outside. The Greyhound is intelligent, but this doesn't mean that he has any interest in pleasing you. So be prepared for a dog that is not only aloof, but can appear plain ignorant to your commands and wishes. Number six, Cairn Terrier. The Cairn Terrier is a rat-catching terrier originally bred on the island of Skye in Scotland. He is very brave, bold, and intelligent, and he rarely wants to sit still when he's awake. It is far more likely that he will be off investigating something somewhere, but when well-trained and integrated into a family, he can make a great pet. He will get on especially well with children that are willing to throw a toy around and play. His ratting instinct is likely to still be very strong though, so you should expect a Cairn Terrier to chase pretty much anything that is smaller than he is. Number five, Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a relatively small dog with a very unique and unmistakable look. They can seem unapproachable and will not usually take to being hugged, which is especially unfortunate because they look like living, breathing teddy bears. Even when they have bonded with their owner, there is a very good chance that this breed will avoid hugs and affection. Originally bred as a working dog, the Chow Chow requires an experienced handler who isn't necessarily looking for a dog to sit on their lap in the evening. Number four, Sharpay. The Sharpay is another dog of Chinese origin, and he was first bred as a multi-purpose dog that could hunt, herd, and fight. While a lot of the independent dogs on this list still require a lot of time in the rough vicinity of their human owners, the Sharpe is considered the one independent breed that will happily survive with minimal human interaction. He can live in an apartment, although he will keep to himself, so you may forget you even own him. He is intelligent and can pick up commands quickly, but he will not always want to obey. Number three, Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute looks like a wolf and has the incredible stamina to match. He can run and run all day long without the need for a break. Hailing from Alaska, he will struggle with too much heat 
And while some owners claim the Malamute to be stupid because they are difficult to train, this is just a display of their independence. The Alaskan Malamute is another breed that is independent but should not be left alone for long or he will become bored and potentially destructive. Number 2. Afghan Hound The Afghan Hound has unmistakable hair and an incredibly aloof nature. He will not be overly concerned with pleasing his new family. And while he can be quite playful, he will be just as happy sitting in a corner of the garden or in his own space. Despite being an independent dog, the Afghan Hound is considered friendly and amiable, and he will usually get along with all family members. And while he does exhibit a lot of independence, he should not be left alone for too long. Otherwise, he will make his own fun, which could mean bad news for anything breakable in your house. Number 1. Akita The Akita originates from Japan, where he was originally used to protect VIPs. He was also used for hunting and fending off large predators, including bears. This activity not only shows his strength and courage, but also that he is more than happy wandering fields on his own or standing beside his charge. Today, the Akita is not usually considered suitable for families with children. However, once he is bonded with his owner, he will be fiercely loyal and protective. Their independence means that the Akita can be a challenge to effectively train, and you will need a lot of patience when educating this pup. Independent dog breeds are ideal if you want a pet that doesn't cling to your leg or demand cuddles and affection all day. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, a question for you. What would you name this little girl? Let us know in the comments. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.